We need to talk about this new record, The Shadow Inside by Sadis. One of thrash metal and technical thrash, death metal, whatever you want to call it, best kept secrets. And they basically functioned for a while until 2015, but they hadn't really released any material for quite some time. And in fact, this is their first studio length album in 17 years. This is also their first record as a duo with Steve DiGiorgio stepping down from bass duties, which obviously is going to be a big hit because he is a fantastic bassist and one of the most prolific. Chances are he has worked with some metal band that you fucking like regardless of what your genre affiliation is. But John Allen and Darren Travis are here and they are very talented musicians in their own right so when I saw that this record was gaining some acclaim and some buzz I was like I'll check it out I'll give it a try. But honestly I have to say this is one of my favorite releases of the year. First off, I respect the fact that they were willing to get ambitious with the song links. There are some tracks here that are pushing five minutes, six minutes of material, and for something in this genre, that's daring. But not only does it work out in this record's favor by creating such great buildup, but there's also amazing payoff. There's nothing fucking worse than a metal album that just endlessly climbs a spiral staircase and at the top there's literally nothing. The musical equivalent of the ending of the movie The Lighthouse. And considering how many of these tracks are five minutes plus, I was consistently impressed by how none of them really felt like they were filler or wallpaper. All of these tracks function amazingly. I've listened to this record a couple of times, and one thing that I have noticed throughout those listens that kind of becomes more apparent when you go in for a re-listen is this record is a little disjointed. Because while I did find myself enjoying this record pretty much front to back when it came to the riffs, the mixing, and especially the vocals, I thought that this record feels a little discombobulated when it comes to comparison. There is a lack of noticeable cohesive flow, and a lot of these songs feel like you could just listen to them standalone, and sitting shoulder to shoulder with the rest of them, you are not losing any of the experience. And if you're going for like just listening to a couple of tracks at a time, or putting a favorite on your playlist, that could be a good thing. But when I sit down and I want to listen to a record either just to examine it, dissect it, make a video about it, or just for my own listening, I like it when I feel like a record is pieced together in a way that feels like a lot of different puzzle pieces coming together to make one final product. And unfortunately, I don't think this record really pays off in that regard. But with that complaint out of the way, I honestly just gotta say, everything else about this record knocks it out of the fucking park. I am so sick of the new wave of thrash metal, just feeling like everything we have heard a million times. No one sounds like Sadus. This mixture of technical death metal, brutal death metal, being brought into this hyper-technical speed metal, fast-ass thrash plane. It is rip-roaring, it is killer, all killer, no filler. It takes everything that is amazing about the energy of thrash metal and captures its essence so perfectly. I'm in love with the gritty tone of the bass across this record. I love how the riffs aren't afraid to just kick your fucking dick in and not care about slowing things down. The pace can be frantic and manic, but specifically, Darren Travis's vocals bless the fuck up. That's not to discredit John Allen's drumming because the percussion on this record is amazing. It really does keep up the pace with everything and it services as this sort of capstone to every track and this foundation to every track that everything else is built up from. And I think the best thrash metal and the best death metal have amazing drum work and it is paying off really well here. You can tell there's just so much experience and proficiency even when a specific idea isn't the most technical or the most most original. It really doesn't have to be because it's one of those things where it's just good on its own. But Darren Travis is a beast of a fucking vocalist across this entire thing. Every time you think that he has used up all of his range, that there isn't really anything more to be done, that you know what's under the carpet, in the closet, on the bed, everywhere in the room, he just expands your field of vision and gives you some new gnarly vocal, whether it be a shriek, a growl, something gruff. He is a titan across this thing. I love the way he sounds. And I know I commented on it, but I just want to emphasize how great the mix is here. Putting everything in such a well-balanced way that I don't think anything shined more than anything else. And in a combination hybrid genre where notoriously bass gets drowned out and just plays second fiddle to the guitar or sounds like a second guitar, 
I am happy to say that's not the case here. Front to back, I think this thing is killer. And even though it is a little disjointed in terms of the flow of everything, and I did find myself kind of questioning that at points, this is a wonderful return. And I hope it's not the last we hear of Sadus because this duo really has great chemistry and brings everything together in such a phenomenal way that I have to tip the hat to it. I'm going to be giving this album an eight out of 10 and that is a wrap. Have you heard this new Sadist record, The Shadow Inside? If you have, let me know down in the comment section below what you thought about it. I can't wait to discuss this record with you. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to join the review family today, and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. You know who it is, my name is Jay Morrison. I'm signing off saying farewell.